Paul said, if there come, if you all speak with tongues and the unlearned comes in, won't he say you're all mad? But if one prophesies and reveals the secrets of the heart, won't they fall down and say, truly God is with you? Is that right? Yeah. Is that the gospel? Yeah. Well, wasn't that Jesus Christ yesterday? Yeah. Isn't he today? Yeah. You can yeah. believe him by speaking with tongues. Yeah. You can believe him by the Holy Spirit. Then I believe him in the full measure that he is. The same Lord Jesus. He's not dead. He rose from the dead. And here tonight, here at the platform now, and may he bless and help. I've never been in this country before. And as far as I know, there's not a living soul that I can see before me that I know. Very few here on the platform. Brother Bose, I remember him. I've seen the man there next to him. I don't remember his name, but... And I... Brother Lindsay, just a, maybe three or four ministers sitting here that I know in the building. But God knows all of you. Is that true? He knows all of you. Now, this lady standing here, God in heaven knows. I've never seen her in my life as I know of. Are we strangers, lady? Yes. Sir. We are perfect strangers. Yes. But God knows her. Now, if Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, let's change a picture now, what he was yesterday, when he was going to find out something about a woman. He said, bring me a drink. She said, why, it's not customary for this to happen, Jews and so forth with the Samaritans. But Jesus, speaking to her a little while, he found just where her trouble was. Is that right? Yeah. Well, now, if Jesus has risen from the dead, now, and is living in us tonight, a little while the world sees me no more, yet you shall see me. For I, I as a personal pronoun, I will be with you, even in you, to the end of the world. That's the gospel truth. You might not have read it that way or thought of it that way, but that's the way it's written in the Bible. That's, your theology might have bypassed it somewhere, but that's the way it's written in the Bible. I will be with you, even in you, to the end of the world. Now, I, you know I'm waiting for something that is true. It's the angel of the law. <laughs> That's true. I'm just as helpless as it could be, just like any of the rest of you. And I'm here, perhaps, with critics sitting here. How many ever seen his picture? A note of my meetings have seen where the scientific taking his picture as a great light. It comes in. You can watch it. Yes, many of you. It's all thousands of copies of it has been sold and so forth. The Douglas Studios in Houston, Texas has it where George J. Lacey, the, one of the best in the research in America, taking an exam and everything to see it wasn't a double exposure or something, and Jesus Christ has vindicated himself as being the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, of course, I wait for him. Whether he will help me tonight, I do not know. And if I have said anything boastfully or anything that I've said out of the way, may God forgive me. I wouldn't mean to do it. I only mean with humbleness of heart to represent Jesus Christ, who's listening to me now. And may his mercy be here tonight. Being that I've spoke these things, and that being his word, may he come and help us, is my prayer. And now, as the organist here somewhere, if she will slowly, please, real low, the song Only Believe, and everybody please be in a, a mood of prayer, if you will. You don't have to bow your head, but you're asked. Now in the prayer line, you just coming. What be, if he rebukes you, you must, if it's, it'll be the truth. If it is, you must be willing to stand it. In the audience anywhere, if he says, you must know it's not me, it's him. And go make it right. The first thing you can do before you can find a cure, you've got to find the cause before you can find a cure. If you go to a doctor sick and upset and he gives you an aspirin, he's not a good doctor. He's trying to get rid of you. If he's a good doctor, he'll diagnose the case till he finds the trouble and then start working from there. That's the same thing we have to do here. If an evil spirit, if there's unconfessed sin or something, or some out of the will of God, you can anoint them all night long and cry and scream and do all you wish to. That demon will stay right there. That's right. He has a right to. But that's what you have to watch. God has put a curse on somebody for something, then you come along and take it off. You get in trouble like Moses did. That's right. He's here. The Holy Spirit. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I take every person in here under my control for God's glory. Now, I want to talk to you a minute, sister. Your conscience is something's going on, of course. It, it, it's just now happened. 
Now, if that is true, let the people see by your uplifted hand. That's right, see. It's, that's, that's his presence. Yes. That's right, see. Now, I, I'm a stranger to you, never seeing you in my life. Now, if the Holy Spirit that I have spoke of, of Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, if I have truly witnessed that to the people and declared it to be the truth, and he is the same, then he will reveal to me something to you that would help you to believe him. If you're here, I don't know what you have need of, whether it's, uh, but he does. Now, if God will permit that, would you accept your healing and, or, or whatever it is you want finance or whatever it is you're here to seek him for, to ask him about, or domestic troubles, whatever it might be, whatever it is, he'll know and he'll be able to let me know. Is that right? Right. And that would make him the same as he talked to the woman at the well. Yes. Now, I'm only talking to you like he did to contact your spirit, and I see you moving from me. You're, you're, you've had a, I see a great crash of some sort. Yes. It's an accident. Yes, yes. And you, yes. it was a car uh, wreck. Yes. And you were thrown in the air yes. like that. Yes. And it strained you in somewhere in your neck yes. and it's caused a, a cancer yes. to come into your neck. Uh, or, and you're some sort of a teach in the scripture. And you, you believe that Jesus Christ makes you well? I do. Father God, in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ, on the authority of God's word by a dying woman, I ask this evil thing to leave her. Satan, you are exposed. So come out of the woman as the church of the living God calls for you to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Sister, just a moment. I just want to talk to you. Of course, you know it's gone now. Oh, yes. It'll stay that way. See how your throat left? Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Praise the it's Lord. It's all gone from her. The, the garter has left her throat. And she, God bless you. Go on your own now and be thankful. Happy and rejoice. And, and be, mm. Now, just have faith in the Lord Jesus. Make him in your center of your thought right now. The Lord Jesus. As you think on these things, while they were thinking on these things, they were in one accord. Remember, Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the same today. Now have faith. Watch this way, audience, and believe with all your heart and give me your undivided attention. Be in prayer. Keep faith in God. Now, I believe this is the lady. Is this the patient? Yes. Yeah. All right, come near, sister. Of course, that won't hurt you now. That's, that's just his presence that you're conscious of. And I, an audience, I'm, I'm your brother. I, this is not psychology. I felt that come into the audience. It isn't. It's Almighty God. Yeah. See, see, it's not psychology. No, it isn't. Now, don't do that. Just think of being the Lord Jesus. See, and one a car. Now, sister, I just want to speak with you just a moment. We're strangers, I suppose. But Jesus Christ knows the both of us. And this is our first time meeting on earth. But he knows you, and he's fed you all your life. And he knows me. And if I, your brother, and by his grace, by a divine gift, that I had nothing to do with it coming. When I was born a little baby, the first thing I can remember was the vision. <laughs> now, I want you to look this way just a moment. Of course you're sick, and you're suffering with uh, a condition that's a, it's a dark spirit around you. It's death, and it's in a form of cancer. And the cancer is located on the breast. And you are seeing you're examined by someone strong, and it's a you got a, a ruptured condition. And the rupture is in the bowels. And you have a stomach trouble also. A severe heart trouble. It causes you fainty 
uh, uh, here a few days ago, he was sitting sideways on the side of a bed and nearly passed out looking towards your window. Are those things the truth? Yes, it's that all was true. All true. Well, whatever it was, of course, it's gone from him. But what do you think that was that knows your life? Was it Jesus Christ? You accept it to be that? Yes. Thank you. And I do love You're willing, you know that something supernatural is here. Yes. And if you believe it to be the Lord Jesus, as I have preached it out of the Word, and you believe it to be the Lord Jesus, yes, I, do. I know there's a dark spirit of fear hanging at you yet. It's something very serious. Say, I see you. Your name is uh, Eva. Yeah. And your last name is York. Yeah. And you live in this city. Yes, I do. And your house number is 613 6th Street. Yes. Is that right? Yes. You're going home to be well. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, you oh, may you go and be made well. God bless you. Don't doubt it. Just go rejoice in heaven. Just have faith. Don't doubt. The scripture has said, Go ye and sin no more, unless a worse thing come upon you. Sin is unbelief. Sin is not drinking, smoking, gambling. That's attributes of sin. You do that because you believe not. Jesus said, Go and sin, or disbelieve no more, or worse things will come upon you. Have faith in God, believing with all your heart. I see the light following that woman yet. It's, uh, just that that's her just left. It's hanging by a colored person there. Yes, the lady there with that gallbladder and rupture. You believe the Lord Jesus make you well, lady? Sitting there, that white thing around your neck, if you believe it with all your heart, you may raise up and claim your healing and be made well in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you. Have faith in God. Does thou believe? You have a rupture, don't you, sir, sitting out there? Isn't that right? You were sitting there praying, Lord, have that man speak to me. Is that right? If that's right, raise up your hand. Stand up on your feet. Your faith has sealed you, brother. Go home. Jesus Christ makes you well. The same Lord Jesus. You don't need to be up here. You need to have faith. Just believe God with all your heart, and you shall have what you ask for. Jesus Christ will grant it to you if you will only believe. But you must have faith. You must believe him with all your heart, and God will bring it to pass. The patient, excuse me, sir. You believe with all your heart? You do. Now, you're just a bit excited because of the presence of his being standing here. And um, I believe you're from out of town. You come from a capital too, Richmond, yep. Virginia. You have a cancer. It's in your inside of your mouth on your jaw. Is that right? You want to go home and be well? Right. Accept Jesus as your healer. Yes, and in the name of Jesus Christ, may it leave the man. Go away from it. God bless you, sir. Go believing, having faith with all. What do you say? I know now that seeing you, you're becoming a young-looking person, much younger than what you are in my presence. You are suffering with some sort of a headache, and it's... Uh, it's come many years ago, about 25 years ago, your headache started. And it's been bothering you ever since. You have been a great believer, and you have, uh, you have prayed for this hour that's standing here now. You have said in prayer to God that if you could uh, only get to me, 
that uh, if I would pray that your headaches would cease. Those things true? Everything. That is true. Now, you heard what said that. That wasn't me. That was just my boy. Was those ever what it was? Is something I, I remember seeing a young person or something. Was it just the way it was said there? Just the way it was said. Now, you believe that God did it? You believe God did it? Now, you're sure that God is here. Just a moment. I see something else. A young woman seems to be standing near you. It's a, it's a daughter. And um, yes, you were just fixing to go on a trip somewhere. You were going to see her. And she's from Indiana. Richmond, Indiana is where she lives. And she, her husband is a minister. And she has wrote you a letter, something telling you not to come because I was coming here. Is that right? You're healed. You can go on. God bless you. believe, have faith in God, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever, and now just have faith and believe. God bless you, dear colored people, shouting. He's, he is always ready to help and to believe, to help the people in need. Just a moment, the lady... Now I see the Holy Spirit standing in the corner. It's uh, over a colored lady. She's looking this way. She has been and she's praying. She has a growth. And that growth is in her throat. She's got her hand up. You accept your healing lady? The lady sitting right behind you there. Also she has a growth and it's in her shoulder. Is that right, lady? Both of you stand on your feet right now. The two ladies right there with the growth on the two-colored lady. Jesus Christ heals you both. You can go home and be made well for God's glory. Your faith has healed you. God bless you. It's gone. Have faith in God. Do not disbelieve, but believe that all things are possible to them that does believe. Amen. My, what a faith bank in the building. It looks like real milky out over the building. You are certainly in the spirit of the Lord now. Anything could happen. How do you do, lady? Do you believe me to be God's prophet? It's, I mean, well, a prophet is a preacher. You don't expect me to be of the enemy. You expect me to be of God. Is that the way you accept it? Well, then I can help you. For he told me if I would get the people to believe me and be sincere when I prayed, that nothing would stand before the prayer. And now it isn't the I that helps. It's God that does the healing. I questioned. I said, they won't believe me. He said, there'll be two signs given to you, as was to the prophet Moses. In this the people will believe. And one of them was to reveal the secrets of the hearts of the people to them. Now you're not here for yourself, although you're nervous and run down, but it's been caused by a disease of this child. This child here is suffering. It's been turned down by the doctors to die. It's leukemia. Isn't that right? You brought the child from out of town. You've traveled, coming from the west, coming east, you have come. You've come from a, a state that has mountains. It's Pennsylvania. And your city, I believe, is Chambersburg. Isn't that right? Bring the child to me. Little sister, dear, the Lord Jesus was here. He'd lay his hands up on you, and death would leave you, and you'd live. Do you believe that I am his servant? Then in his stead I lay my hands on this child and bless it and ask that the demon leaves the child and that life comes to the child and it will live and be well.
come out of the child Satan by the authority of God's Bible with the divine gift ministered by an angel, I adjure thee to leave the child. Come from me. You leave your room and get well. God bless you. Turn around wave to the audience. God bless you. The little girl with tremendous faith be well. God bless you. When he go, Here's you write the letter. Do you believe me as his prophet, as his servant? Do you believe that God is near in his spirit and this which is now being done is of the Lord Jesus? Not me. I'm a man. Yeah. If God will let me know what's wrong with you as a vindication, I am his prophet standing here revealing the truth. As he said to the woman, go get your husband. She said, I have none. He said, you have five. She said, I see your prophet. See, I perceive that you're a prophet. Now that same spirit that was on that Son of God, he promised to send it back in the form of the Holy Ghost that would be with us and dwell with us to the end of the world. You believe it? If he can know your troubles now, can he? You got heart trouble. Is that right? Every person with heart trouble stand to your feet. You can be healed right now no matter what it is of the heart trouble. Lord God, thou knowest our strength and how feeble we are. And how we can, but Lord, we know how strong you are. And heart trouble is something our doctors cannot do anything by. But Lord, who made the heart? You did. And I now rebuke this demon power that's holding these people with heart trouble. May he come out of every one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, sister. I just want to say something to you. You feel different now than you felt in a long time, have you? I saw the people know there's a real dark spirit. You had bad stuff when you lay down that, right. and now it's gone from you right. you're healed you can, I just told you, yes, sir. you are all right have faith in God please everyone with one accord have faith how do you do sir all right us being strangers one to another but the Lord Jesus knows us both is that right? The God of heaven who created the heavens and earth dwelt in Jesus Christ, promised to return again in us. And what he done, we do also. Do you believe me to be his prophet? The reason I say that, the angel of the Lord told me, get the people to believe you. And if they won't believe you, then you'll know the very secrets of their heart and they'll have to believe it then. But you do believe me. And besides the reason that you do believe me, you are a minister of the gospel yourself. And you're here for a good cause. You're not sick, you're in need, and you want an old-fashioned revival to break in your community. The Lord. That's what you're bringing. The Lord. Every one of us wants that. Let's all stand for an old-fashioned revival. Almighty God who created the heavens and earth, I ask now that every demon power in this building will be broke. The power of Jesus Christ be made manifest. Lord, weak, but we're not defeated. Satan, I adjure thee in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out of the people. Stand up, you crippled people, out of the wheelchairs. Give him praise. Everyone. Lift your hands and keep praising God. Whatever your needs are, receive it. Yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord.